first we scroll and I did get a scene title for the next one. I'm going to talk to you that in a minute. We're just scrolling. You can also pause it at different points to get the actual script. I'll always scroll before reading. That way you get the idea of the whole script. You know, you can, you can stop and pause it like just like that. And you can do it on your screen. I've done it a couple times, depending on how good your television is. Well, to, be, to, to depend on, you know, whether you can read it or not. Let me just keep scrolling right through here. All the way to 26, I believe. 25, there's 25. I'm going to 26. Before I write it, the actual title is called Space Heater. So that's the title. That is the title of this scene, and I'll be writing it here pretty soon. All right, so one thing I'm doing now is replacing G-A-G-E with the correct spelling G-A-U-G-E. Replacing that right now. So I did that. I'll double check for that word again. I spelled that word twice, actually. And what I'll do is Go over here to see if it's there. And it's not, it's not in there. So there's no word G-A-G-E in the script. So we'll continue. All right, I added a little sequence just to let you know when mom and uh, Jonah are talking when they first get to the cabin. She says here, sure thing, son. It'll be good to start over. Oh, there's some sheets and horse blankets in the closet if you need extra cover for when it gets really cold out. I added that segment, but I'll tell you why. All right, the scene is space heater. Starts on scene, uh, okay. All right, this scene is space heater, and it starts on page 26. Interior, cabin house, living room, after midnight, later that December. Jonah wakes shivering on the couch. Jonah notices the glass of water at the end of the table is frozen solid. He jumps up, tossing the sheet and horse blankets to the side. Close up, glass of water frozen solid, cut to... Uh, page 27, interior living room, moments later. Jonah hops up in his pajamas and goes to the hall to check the round edge thermostat. Close up, thermostat. The red notch reads below 30 Fahrenheit. The heat is on, but the temperature reads at its lowest point on the round dial. Cut to interior cabin house hall moments later. Jonah feels the vent above and notices there is no airflow escaping the vent. Cut to interior cabin house kitchen moments later. Jonah turns the electric oven and stove top on and steps back, rubbing his hands together and blowing on them for warmth. The electric oven heating elements turn red and the stove top heating elements begin turning red as well. Cut to interior living room moments later. Jonah goes to the couch and grabs a blanket and drapes it around him for warmth. He swiftly picks up his smartphone and dials out. The phone rings ten times. Mom finally picks up on the other end. Jonah walks over to the oven and notices a problem. It is shorted out and is no longer producing heat. Jonah, the cabin is freezing. Even my glass of water has frozen solid. The head isn't coming out of the... Okay. So this is actually the word heat. The cabin is freezing. Even my glass of water has frozen solid. The heat isn't coming out of the vents. I tried using the oven and it shorted out. Mom, the cabin's oil heater must have run out. The oil company will be there on tomorrow uh, uh, morning. The, uh, the, the oil company will be there on the morning. Okay, so the oil company will be there. That word is in. The cabin oil heater must have run out. The old company will be there in the morning to refill it. What do I do? It's sub-zero outside, and the place feels like a freezer in here. There's a small space heater in the guest bedroom closet. You can use that until morning. Jonah, great idea, Mom. I'll get on it. Cut to interior closet moments later. Jonah opens the closet door and begins looking through the clo clothing and boxes. He finds a small space heater in the box. Cut to interior living room moments later. The ghostly father figure stands in the kitchen area, warning his blue overalls and green and yellow John Deere hat. Should have gone out and bought a thermal blanket. Cold in here. Jonah, I know it is. Jonah looks up and the ghostly father figure has vanished. Cut to under the blanket moments later. Jonah pulls the space heater under the sheet and horse blanket and stays under as the heat fills the makeshift tent blanket. Cut to, my goodness. 
Jonah takes the company of uh, the copy of the book, and so it goes, Kirk Vonnegut, a life, and reads it to himself. He reads aloud as warmth arises from the space heater. She was a Methodist, and the Bible was her instruction manual for family life. She knew the Bible by heart and found plenty of comfort and wisdom in there. Kurt Jr. wrote la later, the Vonnegut's attended service at the Unitarian Church only twice a year, on Christmas Eve and Easter. The family said grace at Mills, but in retrospect, he termed it just a theatrical event. Cut to. Good to go.